Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another review. We've got Tika the Jawa, another exclusive that has graciously, eventually, made its way here to Australia. Much like the uh, Ben Kenobi, uh, Tibbet on Station, which I reviewed last week, uh, Tika was one. I just I just grabbed it online, I was got, got a few points off through Big W's eBay site. Um, just one thing to keep an eye on if you're playing at home here in Australia is... Uh, Find Big W online on on eBay because sometimes if you if you've got eBay eBay Plus or whatever it is, um, you know you can save yourself a couple of bucks here and there buying through them and getting it shipped because they generally do free shipping with um, eBay Plus or whatever it is it's eBay whatever whatever the thing is <laughs> subscription mumbo jumbo anyway Tika number five Tika Jawa has the same Obi Wan Kenobi blurb. Uh, yeah, this was one I wasn't going to worry about if it didn't come out down here. Um, but for some reason, their pricing is interesting because they're both $49, which, you know, that's a little extravagant for what these figures are. But they are exclusives. Um, that's just the way it works now. It's better than $55. Um, for some reason, they put the Ben Kenobi down to $28 and they put this one down to $39. So who knows? You feel like the... Uh, this one would be more price accurate at 28, but nevertheless, we've got him anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to open up Tika, we'll get a look at the figure. Uh, it doesn't appear to be too much different from a regular Jawa, so we'll get a look. Alright, here we have Tika the Jawa. And yeah, for the most part, this figure is exactly the same as the Jawa that's been out for a few times now. Um, obviously, the off-world Jawa came with soft goods. Um, around here, whereas the original New Hope Jawa came with this uh, molded plastic. Difference is this one comes with this sort of vest, um, overcoat as opposed to, you know, just the, the sort of, uh, you know, utility belts that normal Jawas have. So Tika, you know, just sort of stands out a little bit with the extra, um, with that sort of light tan sort of vest. Also coming with Tika is a couple of accessories and it's, uh, yeah, I don't know what to make of these, but they're kind of cool pieces, a bit of Jawa junk. Not sure what it's supposed to be. Probably doesn't really matter what it's supposed to be either. But, you know, I, li I like little things like this just to sort of flesh out scenes and, you know, it looks a little bit deeper on the shelf with some, with some stuff around it. And uh, this little thing here, which, you know, again, no idea. I'd say it's an ice cream maker, but we know the ice cream maybe it is an ice cream maker because the um ice cream makers in star wars universe are just carry containers so this could be an ice cream maker which is perfect for tatooine and yeah tika's gun blaster nicely weathered we've seen this one before but i do like this jawa figure i think it's a nice one i do prefer when they do the fully sculpted or, um, you know, the sort of softer plastic robes as opposed to sort of half and half, you know, the, the hood is plastic. Um, so yeah, I do prefer this. I, I like the soft goods when they do it all soft goods. I think that would be better, better. but, um, you know, Hasbro can't quite get the hoods to sit up as they are with the Jedi figures. So yeah, it's probably just easier to stick with this for the Jawas. Yeah, it's cool. Nice little eccentric little character they brought in for Obi Wan Kenobi. Local bartering Jawa. She steals from steals from Obi Wan and then tries to sell it back to him. I like the details. I like that just the little silver thing up there. I'm not sure what that is, but um, it's cool. It's nice. Yeah, just nice details. Nicely sculpted. Nicely painted too. I like the sort of dirtiness at the end of the sleeves. Um, some sort of different shades of stuff around the around the base a little bit. Some sort of darker darker browns through there just to accentuate the shadows. But again, sort of rip sleeves and dirty things just sort of shows that they uh, spend a bit of time working on all their goods that they find. But yeah, nice a nice figure nonetheless. I'm glad to have it in the collection. Wouldn't have been upset if I had to skip it, but that's a uh, it's, it is nice to have, so you can just see the hole through the back of the hood there. <laughs> uh, that's all good, no problems there. Alright folks, thank you very much for watching, do appreciate your time. Please, 
drop a comment below let me know what you think and we'll see you for some more reviews and videos real soon till then may the force be with you